everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with you all back. So we'll be painting this beautiful rose. We'll be focusing more on the flowers than the stem. And this is actually an ac acrylic painting but it looks like watercolor. So <laughs> it's pretty easy to paint but it looks pretty complicated. Over here I've got my mixed media paper. And this is a half an inch wide paintbrush. It's a flat brush. This will allow me to paint the background and I'm taking some water and brushing it lightly on my surface on my paper so this will allow my colors to blend easier and they spread better as well so over here I've got brilliant red on the bottom and then I've got African violet on top of that and I've got warm white which is a mixture of titanium white and yellow ochre Okay, so I'm going to, a paper towel will come in handy, so keep that in hand. It'll help you dry if there's too much water. And I'm, my, wa uh, my paint is already watered down, but I'm going to water it down even more. So I can have that watercolor texture. And I'm putting on my, I'm lightly dabbing it on my paper. And the water that I put on before is helping me, helping the color spread. And if there's too much water, you can always pick it up with your paper towel. As you can see, I have red on the bottom in my example. Now keep in mind though that no paintings, your, your flower will not come out exactly like mine. Unless you're like an extreme expert. Well, mine didn't come out the same as well. I'm not very good at painting the stems and things. So that's why I won't be focusing that much on that. <coughs> And like always, I'll include a link to everything in the description box down below. And um, by the way, just a footnote that I don't, all the links are provided in the description box down below. I, I haven't bought my things from there. I buy them from the store like Michael's and places. Yeah. <laughs> Not like I don't buy those kind of things from online. So I can't tell you if how that product came out but i'll try my best to give you the best like so now i am putting i'm highlighting those areas i want the petals to be on and if i have too much paint i can always pick it up and these are going to be where our petals are going to be this is one fourth of an inch wide detailing brush this will help me draw the petals on <coughs> Still, we, we are still drawing the, the highlights, so this is not going to be our stem, our petal, petals on there. Just going to be the highlights. Like you can see in the picture. With this technique, you can pretty much paint any colored rose, and it doesn't even have to be the colors I'm using. And as you can see, as as much I go down, I am making sure that my background and my pillow colors match a bit, because yeah, then it'll look super unnatural if that does happen. And on some of the highlights, I'm making my petals. <laughs> And I have mixed this purplish reddish color to help my colors neutrally blend. And again with water, I'm blending them more. These are again the highlights. <laughs> now to make the colors blend in even more and look more beautiful, we are going to, I'm going to put on some water on there drop some water with a paintbrush. So you can see how I'm doing it over here. This will allow the colors to blend in better. <laughs> now, this flower is painted in layers. And then the more you put it in layers, the more nicer it will look. By the way, the water technique that I did at the start, where, where I put a bunch of water down, and then, um, 
I put my paint on top of that. That's called wet to wet painting. It's usually used in oil painting or watercolor. Now you can see how I picked up my colors before. It allows my my flower to have more dimension. Now I don't think I'm gonna pick up any more colors. Now I'm really working on the petals. All the places where there aren't a lot of petals, I'm going to add in some. And I think my colors are too dark. And now I'm going to make the stem. I will come back to my flower later. And again, my stem, I'm just drawing a normal stem. Now, you may have seen an example. You've, you've probably seen that there are two leaves be be beside the stem. They look like a bow, but they're actually leaves. So I'm drawing them again over here, painting them on. Now my stem then came out very nice this time. It was better in my example picture, but, but like I said earlier, my paintings don't always come out the same. I try my best to mimic. Now I'm going back up on the flower and adding more and more adding more texture I have to think all of the places I think I want some petals on I just put a layer I'm using my highlights as a guideline to help me out <laughs> by the way be sure to comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see because I don't want to make random videos which you don't want to see. So, yeah. Definitely comment down below. I like the video if you want me to do more of these videos. Again, I'm... I'm filling all of my places which don't have. Now as I keep on drawing my petals, I am adding less I'm adding less water and more paint as I as I keep it going. And that's all there is to it. And I hope this helps you out in making it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you liked it. And be sure to comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. I will see you all later. Have a great time. Bye.